Um, so STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Um, and uh, what it's supposed to do as an initiative is recognize that uh, science and mathematics for a long time have been uh, divorced from or separated from and taught independent of uh, the engineering or the practical applications of those things in the real world. So um, nobody that I know of from say 20 years ago would have done an engineering class in high school. It's just not something you did. You did math, you did science, you weren't necessarily sure what it was for, then you went to university and found out. Um, so we're trying to shortcut that. Um, I think it would be difficult to, um, to overestimate how valuable that is. I think that uh, the, the, the age-old question, when am I ever going to use this, um, is being answered. In terms of what kids will be doing in the STEM program, I would say there's sort of two ways to answer that question. There's uh, thematically, what are you doing um, as, a, as a student? What skills are you developing? And I would say uh, learning how to fail and fail often so that you can iteratively or through a succession of trials and analysis work to a solution and solve a problem. That's, that's the process. That's in some ways the most important process and that's what's happening in the background all the time. Not being afraid to fail, trying things out, informing yourself, measuring. Um, so while they're doing that process all year, they do it through the lens of various um, disciplines or projects. So uh, let, if engineering is sort of the, the, the blanket term that you would use to describe what we're doing, uh, there's lots of branches of engineering. There's electrical, um, there's structural, like buildings and bridges, there's um, civil, uh, mechanical engineering, bikes, cars. So in terms of projects, uh, I could give you an example. Uh, Mousetrap cars would be a great way to um, explain to kids how uh, torque uh, can be converted from um, you know, the energy stored in a spring to make uh, a car go as fast as possible. We would build bridges, um, towers, cranes, uh, other types of structures like that. Uh, we're also going to be making a, um, a drone that you can drive um, on the internet. Right. So the idea is to have uh, basically a Mars rover that you could drive from a laptop based interface that runs on a wireless uh, and eventually, hopefully, a cellular network. So as, a, as an end goal for a project like that, you know, can I make a self-contained unit that could, say, sail up how sound, um, being driven by a laptop? In, in high school? Well, this is the dream. It's super exciting because I think what we're doing now is answering the question, if I had to start and recreate school over again, as a team, would we choose to do the same things that we do presently? And I think the answer for the large part is no.